Time now 645 here on your Thursday morning. Today marks the first day of Black History Month and as we start the month with a look at how an historic community in Plano is striving to keep their heritage alive. I Larry Collins spent time in the Douglas community <laughs> where they are keeping generational stories in the spotlight. What they did you find? They certainly are. Good morning guys. You know like many traditional black neighborhoods across North Texas, the face of the community has changed over time. Cities grow, demographics shift, landmarks even disappear. But in the Douglas community of Plano, they are working hard to turn back the clock, holding tight to the memories and emotions that are still very strong. Have you ever noticed that life moves fast? The clock keeps ticking. The wheels keep moving. Before you know it, everything has changed. People, places, even the city of Plano, just ask the Thomas sisters who grew up in the historic Douglas neighborhood, a place that's fighting to keep its history alive. Oh. These four streets brought up uh, a lot of good people and good memories and good times. That's why they took an old house, more than a hundred years old, and turned it into a place where time slows down. This is the original house, original wood, original floors, everything. They transformed it into the Plano African American Museum, opened less than a year ago, but full of history, filled with furniture and memories that instantly transport visitors to a far gone place. Step in and step back in time. They walk in and it's just like all of a sudden this thing and they go this is like being at my grandmother's house we got the same reaction every time someone would go in the bedroom and it was like oh, i used to sleep in a bed just like this and that's what we want that's what we want to to bring back those fond memories erected in the early 1900s houses like this were built to last just like families just like communities it stands today tall and proud, and it's withstood the years, the changes, the Great Depression, two world wars, and segregation. When segregation happened, this was the only place African Americans could trade. Up on Avenue I was our business district. We had a hotel, um, a gas station. And now with the population changing in Plano, the black community shrinking, it still stands as a reminder of the strength of community. This is Douglas, faith family forever. Our faith is what kept us going all those many years. Those type of memories of knowing that we weren't really fearful because we knew we had community that took care of us and surrounded us. A reminder of what it meant to be safe and loved and what it felt like to be at home in a tough world. You go out into the business world, you go out and you become all these things. You're these lawyers and doctors and all this stuff. You got your own businesses and everything and you get wrapped up in that. But this brings back that feeling of home that a lot of us need to have. It's that right here. Though they've passed on, the spirit of the ancestors remain, keeping watch over generations to come in dear old Douglas. It is only by the grace of God that we're here today, but we're still here. We're still here, and that should give you some kind of pride in order to live on and to do the best you can do. Though time does move fast, love and legacy cannot be lost. There quite simply, timeless. In Plano, Larry Collins, NBC5. A moment in North Texas black history. And over the next few weeks, we'll be working hard to bring you stories of community and inspiration. And we would love to hear from you about people whose contributions have helped shape your life or your community. So reach out to us with your ideas at IC at NBCDFW.com. Be sure to send us a photo and some details about the story that you would like us to share as we continue to discover black heritage.